It may not be what you want to hear, but airline pilots are threatening to go on strike this weekend. It comes as we head into the Labor Day weekend, and after an already hectic year for air travel, CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has more from JFK Airport. Well, as we brace for one of the busiest travel days of the year, pilots say if they aren't given better contracts and airlines don't fix some of the operational issues, they will go on strike. It's something not only impacting them, but the millions of Americans who are expected to take to the skies this weekend. Lubna Zia is hoping to be one of the lucky ones to get to San Diego, California and back without any issues this weekend. She's seen videos like these from Thursday of airline pilots picketing at a dozen airports across the country. This is an expensive ticket and I hope that, you know, something is done to refund the travelers that this is completely unacceptable to me. I hope the pilots' uh, issues are addressed. And if they aren't, these pilots are threatening to not show up to work this holiday weekend. This was Chopper 2 over JFK. K Thursday afternoon. It's where pilots marched while holding signs reading ready to strike. Experts say more than 120,000 domestic flight cancellations in just the first half of the year were due to various issues, including weather and staffing. The government gave these airlines money to train their pilots and keep them current. They didn't do that. So the pilots sat at home without being current and qualified. When they brought them all back and they brought the schedules back to where they were before COVID, the pilots were not ready to fly because they weren't trained and qualified. Just yesterday, the Department of Transportation launched an airline customer service dashboard. It helps travelers figure out which services airlines will provide when a flight is canceled or delayed due to circumstances within the airline's control. For example, all but Allegiant and Frontier will cover your hotel for an overnight cancellation. But as the hotel weekend is upon us and school starts back up for the fall, time is of the essence for some. I'm kind of nervous. The kids need to get back home to school on time. Hopefully I get my, my, my refund, you know, because I had to change my flight and then I haven't get my refund at all. Now, the DOT is in its final stages of finalizing its regulations in regards to giving passengers full refunds if their flights have been delayed or if they've experienced substantial schedule changes. Reporting here at JFK Airport, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.